and welcome back to another episode with me, Belfire, and today we are back in Mech Warrior Mercenaries 5. And I have a mission I need to do. I'm not going to do it yet. Because I don't think I have Well, the right equipment for it. Really? Balmax. Oh, apparently I already had that fixed. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. And yes, I have some of my fastest mechs equipped. Or my fastest mechs. Because two spiders and three spiders and a fire starter. Okay. Now let's see if I remember how to play. I mean, I'm not really afraid to move up by myself because I know all of my mechs can catch up and will catch up. Because they're all spiders. And if I'm remembering right, spiders have a movement speed of like 300, not 300, 190-ish. 20. I got it. Long story short, they're fast. Even with me moving at the speed I'm moving at, which is 97 meters. Meters per second, I think. And one thing I know, I do not want to walk over stuff like turrets because they deal, they explode, which deals a decent amount of damage. And that's right, I got new captains recently, I forgot about that. No, you aren't. There we go. And now, time to run to extraction. Simple as that. Okay. I really hope they didn't drop off anything too scary. There we go. Done and done. Hmm. Hmm. I really need to visit more places so I can look for weapons, really. So you know what? I'll check out here. I don't think they'll have anything. I hope they do, though. Vindicator. Eh. 
Well, any interesting equipment? Uh, anything else? I mean, I'll take those just as backups. But other than that, no. Okay. Hmm. I mean, with the missions getting to the, where they are now, I know I'm going to need some more heavier mechs. Hmm? Like, yeah... Hmm. So I have two hero mechs for my heavy mech lineup. Or are these medium mechs? For my medium or... Oh, no! Um, okay. That is not good. That'll take me down by a hundred thousand. Hmm. I'll head here just so I can get more money. Because apparently I'm really, really low. I didn't think I was that low. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let me just real quickly pull up that. So I want. Okay. There are three S rank max. This is a defense and a wa war zones I don't mind taking. Echo Commander, weather conditions in the area will restrict visibility. And I could go with uh, my heavy mech. This one. That's not mine. This one? That is mine. And that would be. F we would be fine on weight. Okay. Okay. Allied forces are attempting to withdraw from this area and need us to screen their retreat. We're to link up with the remaining friendly screening the retreat and hold the enemy forces as long as possible. So it's one, two, three. And then two fives. Oh, and apparently this is a heavy mech. My bad. I'm honestly surprised I'm hitting. And there we go. I'll have all the spiders focus on that one. 
while I go over here. Okay. Enemy mech forces spotted operating in the area. Watch out for them. There you are. And now you're gone. Perfect. Oh, a panther? Well, that's no problem. Like I said, no problem. And then a little Jenner. Okay. <clears throat> bad news, Commander. More hostiles inbound on your position. And that's not bad news. That means I can finish the mission quicker. Okay, now I'm going to be out of the fight for a couple minutes. And no flyers, okay. There's that one. And a fire starter. Okay, I'm going to get close over here. And then see what happens from there. And considering everyone... Ah, that's Q. Ah. So you're the most damaged out of everyone. I mean, it could be debated. Okay. No, that's not an, in not an invalid target ID. At least now it isn't. And there we go. That was a mistake, I see. And I mean, that's not all that many sea bills, but that's probably enough to cover all of the damage that was accru accrued. At least I hope it is. Form up on the commander. <coughs> okay. Yeah, considering yeah, I'm I'm sure these spiders have no problem keeping up.
And I guess if you where I just need to know where they are. So a fire starter and something else. Okay. And a javelin. Okay. I'm thinking after these two, that's when I'm going to go ahead and leave. Of course. Okay. Now I'm going to go back because everyone looks fine, but I don't want to, I do not want to push it. And there we go. At least hit it. And there we go. Done and done. And now the mission's done. Welcome home. More enemies inbound. No. Okay. Yeah, I think. One million? Sure. Replacements. I do not use flamers, so I don't need to worry about getting those. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to do one thing. That's Limia. What's over here? That's Baxter. Or Tress. That's just Terra. And over here, Shiro. Hmm. Verlo. No. Okay, I will be right back. I just need to look at something. Okay, I'm back, and I'm going to do something that may not be that 85 difficulty. What? Hmm. <coughs> Assassination. Okay. So, I'm bringing out my heaviest guns. That, there... Yep, and then last one. Okay. This is going to be really, really difficult. Oh, boy. Uh, I 
if anything goes wrong, like horribly wrong, then <laughs> nothing happens. Grasshopper to my right. What's to my left? The Marauder. And then the one behind me is the... Orion. Got it. So I'm thinking I will slow down a little bit so everything can catch up with me. If anything, I would expect the Marauder to move a little bit faster. Ow. I mean, that didn't hit me, but... That still messed with my vision a lot. Okay. Okay. So, really, the tactic is take it slow, take it steady. And hope you don't get shot in the back by your allies. Okay. Yep, just taking it slow and steady. Hoping nothing too big comes out to play. Watch as we we run into an annihilator. And where was this target identified? Oh, right here. Ah, I see. Okay, who is just you? I'm going to punch you. Get over here. That or I'm going to land on you. One of the two. I do not want to get close to, or too close to that fist. Oh, good, I am close enough. Okay, so that means... I think the rest of the targets are at the next nav point. Which means I want to go this way. Got it. 
<laughs> Excuse me. Oh my. Okay. Well. You're doing all right. You're doing okay and okay. Everyone's doing all right, but Heron in the Marauder is not doing fantastic. Okay. Good to know. Well, I mean, it seems like as long as I take it slow enough that the, my entire team is together, it looks like we'll be fine. But also my entire team has to stay together. Not whatever I'm currently doing, which is walking out of range of all my allies. That looks like a big one. A wolf hound. Can't say I've seen that one before. Or maybe I have, but not often enough. Ow. A stalker. Okay. Okay. Now the only annoying thing is this stalker is behind a wall. Again, I am in a heavy mech though. And it can't punch. Okay, I'm going to walk away a little bit now and let my lance mates have a little bit of fun. Okay, now let's get out of here before reinforcements. Come on, you guys, we have to go. And an assassin. Yeah, nope. Sorry, but no, I'm not. Somehow the Ori Orion's perfectly fine. And I've lost an arm. Uh, that's the heavy laser I had. Or the large laser, not heavy. Well, it's still a large laser. Well, I hope that gave me enough money. Oh, I really hope it gave me some money. Ooh, yay! Rank 10. A tier 4 medium laser. I will be taking that, please. And Fahad, what's up? Hey, boss man. Keeping me and the crew real busy lately. Glad to see the contract's rolling in. Not that. Doing a bloody good job, Pip. Gotta say. Just one thing, though. You and your fellow pilots might want to dodge the enemy's fire a little. Bit, yep, right? there it is. We're running triple shifts after some of these jobs. And I know, I know you're doing your level best under the circumstances. I'll get that. I'll tell you, it ain't easy. All I'm saying is, try to bring them mechs home with all their limbs still attached. That's not too much to ask, is it? No, it isn't, mate. 
It's pretty bloody reasonable, I think. Mm. Well, there you go. Some friendly advice on the house job. Gonna get back to work now. Catch you later. Enter the hangar and speak Rayana. Okay, what's this about? <laughs> hey, Commander. Thanks to Caesar's people, we now know we're somewhere within Inferno's current sphere of operations. However, we still haven't been able to pinpoint the location of their base. What we have learned is the name of the man who killed your father. Oh. The leader of Black Inferno. Named Andreas Cain. He was loyal to one of the Marek factions for a while, making a nasty name for himself. He was responsible for several massacres as well. Of course, that was before he struck out on his own and set up shop as a mercenary. After that, his tale went cold. Unfortunately, that means there's a lot we still don't know, like how Inferno became as big as they are, or who their current benefactor is. Andreas Cain. When we find him, Rihanna, I'm gonna tear him and his mech limb from limb. I have no doubt, Commander. But we need to find him first. I've been scanning the comms, looking for any mention of Inferno activity. Not ten minutes ago, I picked up a distress call from a nearby port city. They have come under successive attacks by a mercenary group, and are asking for immediate help. Sound familiar? Sure does. The distress call had this image embedded in the transmission. It's a map of the city and port. I think it's best if I drop you down here, just outside this farm. You can proceed from there into the main city itself and ensure that it's protected. The port is nearby, over here. That's where I'll pick you up once the city and port have been secured. Questions? Nope. Plan sounds good. Okay. All right. Get us where we need to go, Commander. I'll keep monitoring the situation. Roger. I, I will say, I really like the way his mech looks. Let me guess, they they are still very unhappy with me. Hmm. That's all the way over here. And then I have another one. I have one here. And then one all the way over here. Okay. Well, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, all that amazing stuff. And I will see all of you in the next episode. Bye, guys.